We're currently running through Fink's Slaughterhouse. We're up to number level three for the slaughter. Still on the lookout for a better shield. We don't have a great shield. Shock spike shield. Don't need that. Lob singularity. Zero fuse time. That's actually quite nice. Might grab that. Might be good to have a singularity grenade. That might be worth having. How much is that? 4,000. I've got plenty of money, so... I'll grab, grab that. I've been looking for a decent singularity grenade. That one's not bad. I'll just check whether I have junk to sell off from the last round. When you finish one of these rounds, you end up with a ton of junk to sell off. Currently using a homing corrosive cloud. That will do for now, but having a singularity I think is good. That might be useful. Because Maya has that skill that's similar to Zero's bore, so having a singularity grenade might be a good idea. So we got a tall pistol there, got a few a few shotguns. We don't have anything to sell off, so we're ready to go. Check back later. Start the next round, round three. Check the loadout here. We've got a Torg assault rifle, sniper, corrosive launcher, and the ruby. And then absorb shield and the corrosive cloud. tank the tank got me anyway wait for my shields to recharge Five, and I'll start the four, round. Three, two, one. this one we upgraded this tall assault rifle this one's got a scope on it which I quite like Like all the enemies have come down around the bottom here. We gotta get shocked by them. This is a rat heavy round, a ton of rats here. Looks like they're not going to come any closer. Quite annoying to hit when they keep running around like that. They do eventually stay in still. It takes a bit of time. One left.
threats. I always have player dealt with all of them actually. One shot at all of them with that corrosive cloud. Now marauders. These guys are slightly less jumpy than the lab rats. A little bit easier to take down. be able to get in with that barrel but it was too far forward. I keep forgetting to use my skill to be useful for these rats. Major rats, I don't think. below me. There's another one on the other side. I think he's below as well. So one left. Doesn't want to peek out. There he is. Don't think I can shoot. I can shoot him here. Well, they go go down pretty quickly anyway. Get on your goddamn knees! Ever been strangled with your own intestines? Both knew they did. Damn it! You're halfway done! for the remaining part of this wave. So can still one shot the elite marauders with this sniper. It's nice. You can 
pretty easy to one shot the most of the enemies in this early level earlier level. It's always funny to see the uh, enemies just run into a crowd kill and get destroyed. Silence! Let's see if I can heal up a little bit with this. Uh, One more enemy left below. You stop. There we go. Yeah, I'm back to full health. Throws so very damaging, actually. Let's go ahead and heal up with whoever's left down below with the ruby. One left. Making his way. You stop. Trying to. He was looking. I got sniped this guy. Silence! Farewell. One left, directly below. Oh, two. Dots were doubled up on each other. So let's see if we've got any interesting drops here. Some white relic. Some money. White class mod. And a white grenade. A bunch of white stuff so far. Got a good amount of iridium to drop. I've seen quite a bit drop. Again, just a bunch of white stuff. I can sell it, but that's about all. Another white weapon. Not even seeing green weapons. Just a bunch of white items. A symbol there I haven't discovered. And nothing in this corner. I guess you could take cover in this corner, but you're going to have enemies spawning behind you from that entrance. So I don't I don't think we got anything 
green or better to drop there. It was all just white stuff. bunch of white stuff to sell off here so the relic we're using an XP relic at the moment we don't need a vitality relic what other relics do I have anyway well that's it we just have the vitality relic that's the only other one we have so we don't really have anything interesting for the relics assassin class mod elven glamour so we do have a siren skin we can use that couple of white grenades we can sell off and a white shield. Let's just have a look at the shield. Oh, it's got a very large delay so we can get rid of that shield. As far as weapons go, same story here, just a bunch of white junk we picked up for weapons. So let's sell that stuff Almost off. Dead. Maybe top off our ammo Thanks here. So we used most, I think we just used exclusively the assault rifle and the sniper. And we just used, the only pistol ammo we used was the ruby to heal. And we can also use our grenades with the ruby to heal too. So we're we ready for the next round. Not sure what level this next round is, but Five, probably similar four, to what we have been three, facing. Which I have a sniper to begin with. Oh, now we've got the bodies. Pretty tanky, actually, these buzzards. Probably for the best. I'll take some cover underneath from these buzzards. Let's see if there's a better weapon for the buzzards. SMG. Maybe we'll swap out this lumpy rifle. Oh, we got this uh, bandit pistol. Fire rate doesn't look all that great though. Let's see just what the fire rate's like for this pistol. See how that goes for the bandits and the, the uh, buzzards. I've got the enemies coming down already. Looks like the buzzards are dead anyway. So those buzzards are destroyed. We probably can go back up top if we wanted to. Guys coming straight forward. Generally, the 
The waters are not that aggressive. coming in. Got hit by that just a little bit. Marauders really don't say much compared to some of the other enemies. Some of the enemies are really chatty with their dialogue, but not so much in Marauders. There you stop. We didn't know whether we wanted to go be above the or railing or below. Okay, that's no longer Okay, that's Goliath. He must have sniped this Goliath's helmet off. So he can help me out. It looks like he's the only one left for the round, so. He won't be helping too much. Take this opportunity to reload before the next wave comes through. They oh, told me to bring a pal <laughs> Might be far enough away from that grenade not to get hit by, but I still got hit by it. The rest of the enemies might be underneath. Here they are. They're coming up there. One enemy left. Back up now the buzzards are taken care of. Goliath is doing a good job dealing with the other enemies. So watch out for this Goliath, he might be aggroed on me now. There's only two enemies left, so... With fewer enemies, a Goliath's more likely to be aggroed on me. Charge a little bit here. You 
stop. Farewell. Another enemy coming forward. He's underneath. Their health back up again. Not a Goliath round. Thank you with the lies for sure. Sometimes we really, uh, we use the um, we use the skill, and we just don't know whether we want to go above or below the lap railing. Try to get these buzzards if I can. Maybe. Looks like the buzzard's gone. I 
I think the cloud kill is enough to kill these little badass nomads with one shot. It certainly helps, but it takes more shots now to take them down. Like marauders. Sniper is a good option here for the marauders. They're badass marauders. They don't go down with a single headshot. Once you get the helmets off of the Goliaths, they're not so much of a problem. Once you figured out that out, it's not so bad. TD or grenade. Dial SMG. Nothing else interesting on this bottom section. Let's try on the upper section. It's got a bit of money here, something blue. What is this blue item? Hyperion Flame Sniper. A white resistance relic. Rubber eyes grenade there. Green one. White Jacob's assault rifle. Nothing all that great. We got some good items early on on the earlier rounds, but uh, nothing in these later rounds. What is this? Class mod for a different class. So we just pick up this stuff to sell. I think all that interesting. Still on the lookout for a decent shield. We don't really have a great shield at the moment. So let's turn in round four. Certainly easy with mine to do these slaughter rounds than, say, uh, Axton. It's having more problems with these slaughter rounds with Axton than with Maya here. So let's have a look and sell off our junk. We've got this white assault rifle. We can sell this one off. Dial SMG, sell that. This flame Hyperion sniper, sell that off. Resistance relic, don't need that. Can't use these class mods. Bouncing grenade. And a regular lobbed grenade. Another regular grenade and a white shield. Get rid of that stuff. If he ain't dead, I'll keep you that way. We've got an absorb shield here. This might not be too bad. Currently using an absorb shield as well. This is a blue one. Don't like that recharge delay though. So I'll leave that blue one. Quick shield. How does this compare to what I'm using? Capacity is a bit better. Recharge rate's better. Delay's better too. I might just use this quick shield for now until I find something else. Good choice. Seems like an upgrade. Next time you're bleeding to death, just think I know shop is a lot of singularity. Three second fuse time. We did find a singularity with a zero fuse time, so we can use that one. Long rider shotgun in the gun shop. Let's go ahead and, and uh, swap out the shield before we forget. So we'll use this quick shield. Instead of this absorb shield. So we do have this Lob Singularity here, zero fuse time. What's the radius on that, by the way? 464. 
So let's check out ammo for the next round. When you think murder, think Marcus Munitions. So we were using mostly assault rifle and sniper travels. ammo there. Lovely. Nothing like a good don't have too much fun. So we have started the next round. So this will be, oh, we've got a skill point to spend as well. Let's have a look. We are up to the next one here, Blight Phoenix. Killing an enemy causes you to deal constant incendiary and corrosive damage to nearby enemies for a short time. Damage is based on your level, well that sounds useful. The Reaper also sounds useful too. You deal increased gun damage. So next level will be extra 8% there. I well, might as well try this one, see what this is like, might be good. So I guess that one will be similar to the cloud kill. There's a couple of items here I missed. So we'll see if we can see that new skill go off. Five, four, Start three, off with the sniper. I got Psycho, so it might be better off starting off with the, the tall weapon. Deal with these Psychos coming through. Oh, just the one. And the rest are rats and marauders. So we can probably snipe most of these guys. Oh, this rat's coming forward. You! Stop! Wait for that grenade to go off. And I'll deal with these marauders. There's one more enemy around here, probably a marauder at the back. We have our other enemies spawning behind now. Get ready to feel my fingers in your eyes. You can't stop me. Nothing can stop me. I will see you from the inside out. Right, let those guys duke it out. Fighting with his left over here. Just me and the me and the Goliath now. I'm trying to jump, but not doing a good job. He's trying to jump up to me, but he couldn't do it. Next round is on the ground. stop to loot because at least they can shoot them when they're stationary. Now, a bunch more rats down below. They 
They do seem to be less jumpy when they're below rather than right level with you. coming through on this side. Well kill might get them all. And it did here. Yeah. Those lab rats are in a nice little group there where the cloud kill was able to get them all. Two or five waves done here. Okay, so we've got some more Goliaths coming through. Silence! Can't get rid of those guys quickly. <laughs> Pop that guy's head off, he's almost dead, so not very, not very useful as an ally. I'll snipe these marauders on the left hand side. There's one here. Let's wait for him to pop up. Enemies are pretty stationary, so I can take my time. should help me out a little bit. Oh, the cloud kill killed them both. So there's just one more enemy around. Oh, he's down below. The nomad down below. And again the cloud kill one-shotted those guys. So a bunch of nomad torches here. Cloud Kill's doing a good job here of taking him out though. Like there's still some enemy on top. And the shotgun midget shielded this time. Looks like a buzzard. other guys to come down the stairs for me. So far they haven't. I'm also waiting to get an angle on this buzzard. Here it is. Buzzard is still around, but again, the ground-based enemies are not coming down for me. Oh, 
Still waiting for this buzzard. This is not the first weapon for the job. And okay, now we've got some marauders coming through. Now these are marauders probably from the buzzard airborne marauder. It's gone. Bunch of airborne marauders bleached up in up in the air there. We got ourselves a hit. Got some corrosive attack there. Slowly thinning out the herd. So I can probably snipe the remaining marauders here. One enemy left in the corner. Might be a couple enemies bunched up, but whoever it is, they're happy to stay put. Probably another marauder. I do like to take cover. Although they can push forward, but most of the time they stay put. Probably snipe from here. Reposition on the other side. Go back up top. Time of psychos coming through. Quiet. Well, they blew themselves up with that grenade. I never stopped until they useful. You can't bury me upside down. Marauders. 
bonus. Difficult to make out where his head is there. Waiting for the cloud kill to go off. One left around here somewhere. There he is. Difficult to make out where he was because he wasn't moving. Nomad. Nomad's on both sides. Because some nomads move so slowly, they are quite vulnerable to the, the cloud kill, which is a stationary cloud. Try to put these Goliath's heads off so they can help me a little bit. Oh, this one's aggroed on me. Hopefully those two can fight. So what do we have over here? Transfusion grenade. A white shield. TD or shotgun. Handed launcher. Protection relic. Still two left. Funny how he's aggroed. One of them was aggroed on me. I was so far away. And there was a uh, enraged Goliath right next to him. So I think that's it for all the items up here. Still doing work for me. So now it's just me and the Goliath. Silence. See what this Goliath dropped. Longbow Tesla with a bad fuse time. Nurse class mod. I'm not, not using that nurse, uh, that healing tree, so the, those nurse class mod skills are not that useful. Rubberized grenade. I have just have a quick look at what's here. Cooldown rate, Helios skill. Hyperion shotgun is a little bit better than what I have. So I might as well just uh, sell off the junk that I have and then come back and pick up the rest. My bag is full, can't hold any more items. I might have enough iridium to get a item upgrade. Let's have a look at this junk. Pretty sure none of it's all that useful. Protection relic, what am I using? I'm using a XP relic. So, don't need that. Don't need that nurse one. Elated, not, not using the elated skill. Siren skill, bandit war paint. Just a bunch of junk grenades here. And some junk shields. As far as weapons go, Bandit Shock Spinny Gun. Never, never like those Bandit Spinny Guns. They just don't seem worth using. TDO Launcher, Bandit Corrosive Launcher. I'm using a level 19 Vladoff. This is level 23, so it's substantially more. 
five magazine size, 1800 by three. I wonder if I should upgrade. Probably should at this point. I'll find another flat off launcher later on. So I've got a TDL shotgun, get rid of that. The white Hyperion, get rid of that too. Could also be using these uh, shotguns for the, for the suicide enemies too. So this Hyperion SMG is doing more damage than this than this bandit now. Might as well go with the Hyperion. Hip fire with the Hyperion SMGs are good, but the ADS is very wobbly with the Hyperion. All right, we can go ahead and sell that stuff. A fantastic day for capitalism. Sticky longbow corrosive singularity in the shop. Tell your friends, Marcus Munitions. Got a class Assassin class mod there. See you real soon, I'm sure. Gun shop has a dial SMG. Tear the bad guys a new one, huh? You'll get yours eventually. Oh, so this is where you get the hail. We've got a slag hail. Last time we got the shock one. Huh. Last time I did this challenge, I got the shock hail. It was kind of useful, actually. If you spam it, difficult to aim with it. But if you just spam it, it's quite, it can be useful. I found the shock hail was actually useful for stalkers. If you just spam it at the stalkers because of the splash damage, that was actually a useful weapon, even though it's awkward to aim. A slag one, I don't know if a slag hail is going to be all that useful. This Hyperion shotgun might be useful, level 24. Diversification. Might get some use out of that. Just run around and pick up this junk here. I was trying to save the ammo boxes just in case I ran out of ammo during a round, but we got through the challenge without having to touch the ammo boxes in the arena, so that was good. But I was trying to leave them alone for emergencies, but we didn't actually need to use the ammo boxes in the arena. I think my cloud kill helped a lot there. That was doing a lot of work, that cloud kill. So that probably helped me a lot as far as my ammo usage went. Just having the cloud kill do some work. Blood off sniper, have a look at that. Sometimes you get items out of that. Those exploding tanks. So that might be it, I think we've gone Done a lap around the arena here, picking up the items. I don't think we've got anything interesting. Let's have a quick look at this hail. We've got a slag one, which is, I don't know, probably not that useful, really. A slag hail. Plus 150% critical hit damage. Let's just put it on for a second. The lag one's probably the least useful. Shock one was very very useful against uh, enemies like the uh, stalkers. But the slag hail, I don't know if that's going to be very useful actually. Probably not. I'll hold, hold on to it for now, but I don't think that's going to be very good. So that's the way, that's this reward you get for the the uh, bandit slaughter by the look of it is the hail. So this Hyperion's level twenty. 
Let's have a look at these two Hyperion shotguns. So we've got a FaceTime and a diversification. So the diversification fires faster, is more accurate. And this one is, uh, but fires less pellets. So it's probably the better option. Higher level, uses less ammo. Fires faster, so that's certainly looks like an upgrade there. Just go through the rest of the weapons we picked up. I don't think we picked up anything else interesting. Well, I've got this Pushka here. That probably doesn't compare to the uh, Muckamuck. Not really. It's got that better fire rate though. It's probably an upgrade. And that Muckamuck does have a nice magazine size though. I think I'll keep the Muckamuck anyway. It's doing substantially more damage. Yeah, it's nothing special, that Pushka. Looking at the items, have we gone through the items yet? No. So that's, we're not using the Helios skill, so that class mod's not that useful. That's a Necromancer class mod, rubberized grenade. A couple of white junk grenades here. So that's it, we've finished. Finished with the Bandit Slaughter Challenge. We got our hail, we got a slag hail. I don't think that's a good one. But I'm gonna hold on to it for now. Sticky Longbow Corrosive Singularity. I've got a zero fuse time singularity, I'll hold on to that. Two words, my friend. No refund. So we're now level 26. I think we have unlocked the other slaughter as well. I've got the natural selection annex, I think. I think this is a slaughter mission here. This natural selection annex. And that's, what level is that? Level 23, I think. 23. So we might as well go ahead and do that too. Oh, that's nice. Four iridium. We've got 39 iridium now. So we can jump back to Sanctuary and spin that iridium and go and do the other challenge so it doesn't look like there's a fast travel here I have to jump back up to the fridge fast travel from there what level are these shops 22 nothing much in the ammo shop Med shop has an explosive Nova shield, level 21. And a leaden shield. So let's jump back to Sanctuary. Spend our Iridium. We might as well do the other slaughter challenge. Can't remember what the reward is for the other slaughter challenge. Meteor pistol in the weapon shop. What level? 23. Medi-Wan shop pistol. Not worth paying for. Rubberized grenade. Don't have too much 
see if we have any room in the bank for this hail. I don't think a slag hail is all that useful though. some iridium on the bank, hey, bank storage upgrade. What you want? So backpack upgrades 50, bank upgrades only 4, so this we can get one of those. So as far as ammo upgrades go, we are using assault rifle and shotgun. SMG not so much. Grenade is eight. So let's go. Let's go for assault rifle and shotgun. Anybody ask? You found that. And launcher. Let's do Don't that. With you. Don't you hurry back. So we have enough. We've got three more bank storage slots up, uh, upgraded. We can throw this hail in there for now. Don't know if a slag hail is really all that useful. Sort by type. I'll unequip this hail. Sort by type. Drop off the hail. all the junk we picked up from the lockers. Catch a gun. Never doing that again. There we go. If you don't spend it. So now we might as well do the the other slaughter challenge. Natural selection annex. We'll do that one next. But before we do that, I'll take a quick break and I'll be right back.
Back to Borderlands 2. So let's do this other slaughter challenge. So we have to start off at Wildlife Exploitation Preserve and run through Buy from me if you wanna live. Wild Cat Class Mod. So that's SMG damage. Nothing interesting in shields for the med shop ammo shop. Full of opportunity. 
not bouncing Benny. Goodbye, friend. If you shop anywhere else, I'll have you killed. Probably, probably don't need the sniper right now. Shotgun might be more useful. Coach gun, two ammo per shot. 225 by 15. Let's just try out this coach gun. Let's see what it's like. See how it goes. Of course I can just run past these guys, but I'm curious to see how this weapon goes. I think it's mostly the cloud kill doing the work here. Allegiance relic for Torg. this shotgun so far with Maya. Shotgun seemed to work out pretty well with Maya. So we will have to run through here. Again, I can just sprint through this section, but I just shoot quite my way through. I don't have to bother too much with level 20 enemies. I was nearly done with my shift, you jackass! Togasai rifle is a better option for like a medium range. Jacob's probably nicer to save the closer range stuff. Not sure what level this this uh, chest is going to be. Level 19. I'll pick those up for sale. 
for sale. run through. Another relic. Experiment notes, don't want to take those. Stalker, this is level 19 stuff. Don't really need to loot this. Maybe I had to kill a certain amount to unlock the door, but no. Welcome to Dr. So Zen's level 19 stuff clinic. here. What can I get for you? Remember, this we're always on. So this is level 26 stuff. SMG. Class mod there, white banshee class mod. Catch you later. Ammo shop has a homing corrosive cloud. Don't die. A bad fuse time. Check my ammo. What's my ammo like? No, oh, not bad. That'll do. I might try out this Hyperion shotgun. I also have a Torg. Well, that's an old one. Yeah, these are low level anyway. Got a bang stick as well, but I'll try this Hyperion one. That's level 24. Oh, this is the wrong way. This is the wrong elevator. 
This will give me an option when I go back to the right elevator that'll give me an option to set off the junk I have in my inventory anyway. Which will be good. So we've got a white pistol there. White SMG. Bunch of relics. None of them all that interesting. And a white shield. If you got the money, I'll save your gold earned life. Back down to eleven of twenty seven. So this is the correct way. Let's check the loadout. Lumpy rifle, Hyperion shotgun. Got this new bandit launcher, corrosive launcher, that looks fine. Homing corrosive cloud. We also have the singularity, which actually might be quite useful to bunch up there. Bunch up the enemies. Let's try this lob singularity. Also it might be good to pull off any aggressive melee enemies off me too. So, here we go. Start the round here. Sounds like Mr. Torg announcing the round. Cloud kill probably is going to make it very useful here. tend to bunch up on this uh, challenge. So cloud kill might be very useful. Farewell. If anybody from Hyperion asks, I just found these these guys. Is pretty easy. So the spider ends are dying once they go through that cloud, that corrosive cloud. Just fighting through and dying. this side. So 
So easy start there. Cloud kill, very useful because the enemies do tend to pile in on top of each other and file in into a little area. So getting them all to file into a cloud kill area is very nice. See if we've got anything, any interesting drops. I don't think so. No. So let's go and turn this in. We got a hail from the other slaughter challenge. I don't remember what the weapon reward is for this one. I don't know if we picked up anything. Oh, we picked up a few things. Some white stuff here. Currently using a green level 24 shield. So there's not no point checking the white ones. Please insert any donated organs into the receptacle below. Top off our ammo here. Nothing like a good sale. So we were using a shotgun ammo this Thanks time. Farewell, this Hyperion shotgun's working out fine. So, what do we have this time? Skags and Vargas. They're dying nicely once they hit that cloud. the back they're not coming forward spit a skag pop skag so this happens sometimes you have enemies that will just stay in the corner and won't come forward particularly that left hand corner I'll just glitch in the corner and they won't actually come forward. Bouncing Betty, just a white one there. Something in the corner, probably a bar kid. Above. Oh, there he is. Well, there is another optional challenge to kill the creatures with critical hits. I 
could swap out that. Probably difficult to do with the cloud kill active or oh, chubby rifle. Might get something interesting out of that. Again, we have that one enemy that's glitched in the corner. Happens quite often with this challenge. Scags that spawn in that corner there, they'll just uh, get glitched and won't, won't come forward. tougher than I thought. I've got a blue relic here. Protection relic, shield recharge rate, that seems useful. So this chubby skag I think it was, dropped a bandit slag shotgun. And some iridium, that's about all. That's it for round two. No interesting drops so far. Might keep that relic though. I wonder if that relic is worth using. So we're using this XP relic. Vitality, shield recharge rate. So that's certainly, that's a blue one. Maybe I should just use this one. It's a blue relic. I can use this for now. You did a hell of a job out there. I'm legally so the shop has hyper adaptive shield. We're currently using a level 24 quick shield. Recharge delay is good for this adaptive shield. I think this is an upgrade. Seems to be, it's like better across the board than what I'm currently using. And you get the elemental resistance and the max health, so that looks like an easy choice. Use that one. And the ammo shop has a sticky lobbed transfusion. So we're just using shotgun rounds this time. So we're just going to top off the shotgun rounds. Let me change my shield before I forget to this hyper adaptive shield. Sometimes the adaptive shields have a long recharge delay, but this one's got a nice delay, two second delay. We've got some junk to sell off as well. This slag shotgun, I don't need that. Level 21 calipine. Don't need this. And sell off bouncing grenade, a bouncing Betty, or rubberized grenade. I'll hold on to that XP Fun. relic. Please insert any donated organs into the receptacle below. 
So we're ready for the next round. So far, Cloud Kill has been doing a lot of work. Just uh, getting triggering that Cloud Kill and then having uh, the enemies just file into the cloud and die. There's something green over here I forgot. What is this? A dull corrosive sniper. Shields. Let's see if we can heal up a bit with this ruby. Meteor flame, close one there. Badass bedrock for the ball. Probably some more skag. Here's another skag. Alpha skag. Another alpha skag. One shot isn't enough once you get the cloud kill going. Spitter. Skag. Lock these guys. Oh, he's dead. So the cloud kill took care of that guy. in the corner there. Yeah, I'm not, not going to make it to the enemies. Again, the skags glitch in that left hand corner. They won't aggro towards you until you come forward quite a lot. See a respawn up here. I have to go down. So that's where the respawning area Welcome, is. Welcome, customer. Let me know if anything catches your eye. Make good use. I'm sure we'll be doing this again soon enough. Step the here. I got creatures. You got guns. Round three. So what difficulty level is round three? That's 26. So, same level as me. I'm almost up to 27.
level up. Let's spend our skill point here. So killing an enemy causes you to deal constant incendiary and corrosive damage to nearby enemies. Is that nearby to me or nearby to the enemy I killed though? Causes you to deal constant. Okay, so it's probably me. So there's enemies near me. Well, in that case, this is probably seem, Reaper seems more versatile than the Phoenix. So I'll probably go into Reaper here. Seems more versatile than this one. If this is just uh, around me, giving me an aura around me. Shields recharge for a second. above. So that badass was a, you could still phase lock that guy, even though he was a badass. I think this fire skag is the one that caused me the problems last time. Tried to face lock him but the cloud kill killed him beforehand. Skag won't be affected by my hard kill. Silence. feel how much the cloud kill is carrying you when you're fighting an enemy that's resistant to corrosion.
some enemies coming up, hard to see. These kegs kind of blend into this grass area. Hard to see them coming. Another skag back here, stuck in the corner. Quick look around, see if anything interesting dropped. We did kill some enemies in the corners here, so something could have dropped in these corners. Here we go, what's this? Dahl assault rifle. Caustic eraser, runner skin, don't have that one yet. That's round three done. Mark is gonna be real happy with that turnout. We did pick up a couple things, couple skins here. Ecstasy in gold, siren skin, caustic eraser. couple of junk grenades and shields. We did find this thick root, level 25. Maybe better than our lumpy rifle, 22. It's doing a ton more damage. Accuracy and fire rate's the same. Reload speed magazine size is better, so, and it's got the same zoom, so that's a obvious upgrade there. We can retire our own, our old trusty lumpy rifle. We got a lot of use out of that one. So this seems like a straight upgrade. The only difference is the damage it does. Tedior flame shotgun, 257 by six. That's doing 134 by six. What's the fire rate like? 1.5 compared to 3.6. Yeah, TD or shotguns, weapons in general, nothing's great. Okay, so we've got an upgrade here for our slag SMG. 100 damage to 142. Slag chance is the same. That's a good upgrade, actually. And the Dahl Sniper, we can get rid of that. This Corrosive Sniper, we never use this thing, it's, and it's level 20, we can get rid of that now. We'll keep the Slag Sniper, might be useful. So we can see all that stuff. And there's nothing interesting in the shops here. Tell your friends, Marcus Munitions. All right, so this is probably a good spot to end the stream for now. We finished the bandit slaughter. We're working our way through the creature slaughter. And we'll see what uh, reward we get for this one. Next time. So thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you next time.